Um, to be honest, I think the most exciting um, mm -hmm. thing that I see in the horizon is uh, proactive health pathways. I could not emphasize more on it mm -hmm. and something that I strongly believe in. Um, it's I don't call I don't use the word predictive mm -hmm. um, as such, which other doctors do. I call it proactive. Um, knowing yourself genetically, mm. knowing what you are allergic to, knowing what you're sensitive to, knowing what foods impact you, knowing whether you have an inherited gene that could cause a disease or condition, mm -hmm. and proactively avoiding those scenarios that can lead you to become sick. Mm. Um, it's going to reduce your frequency to, of visit to your GPs and doctors. It's going to reduce the pressure on the hospital systems because you are proactively looking after yourself based on your genes and genetics. It's not something to be scared of. It's something to celebrate, I think. Knowing, you know, it just, just taking um, a chapter from Rita's words, just surprisingly finding out that your child has cancer and that too on stage four. Um, you know, the devastation that it must have caused her and her family um, you know, if, if this technology was available and proactively there was a screening done to see if he's a carrier for gene or, mm. or, you know, he has inherited cancer, can you imagine how much of a difference that would have made Absolutely. to that life, to even to just that scenario? Mm. So that, that's the most exciting thing, I think, that we need to embrace in this field at this stage. It's not something to shy away from. It's not to, not something where we can say it's going to take away from those um, big specialists and you know specialized oncology hospitals or you know fertility clinics and things like that. It's something that they can incorporate to make a human life better, mm. rather than you know forcing them or pushing them into a corner where treatment is the only option. Mm.